No recording devices, video or otherwise, allowed in the courtroom today. But CBS 2's Alice Gaynor was inside. She was our eyes and ears, and she joins us now with what you experienced. Well, you know, he walked into the courthouse, a former president of the United States, but once he was in the courtroom, he was very much treated like any other defendant, of course, except for all of the court officers and the Secret Service who were there with him as well. Now, to get inside the courtroom, of course, was quite a process. Nearly 24 hours before the arraignment began, we were all getting online. I think we have a picture. Um, so while we were online, we were given, no, yep, there we go, uh, out there since 5.30 this morning, but again, Nearly 24 hours before this arraignment, we were lining up. So that green card in my hand, that meant I was going to get inside the courtroom. Roughly 50 journalists were able to get inside the courtroom. Everyone else had to go to about uh, two overflow rooms there. Uh, one former President Trump actually got inside the courtroom. He was very subdued. You know, just watching him speak at Mar-a-Lago, he, he seemed more comfortable, more, you know, in his element here in the courtroom. You know, he couldn't behave that way, of course. So he walked in, looked straight forward, did not look at any of the press who were located on either side of him in the gallery was a little bit hunched over you know walked right to a seat right there he's surrounded by his defense attorneys he added a third uh, new lead defense attorney the other day and so there they are right there he said only a couple of things in the courtroom today he pleaded not guilty he entered that plea himself and then the judge asked him a series of questions throughout the arraignment and he you know explained that he understood what the judge was saying but that's really all we heard from him he exited the courtroom in the same exact manner his head was down looked straightforward. He did not look at anyone, which was surprising to us because, you know, he likes to chat with the press. But um, this was obviously a very different scene for him. And of course, when you go into that courtroom, it's very serious. And I think, you know, he did treat it as such. And um, it was just interesting to see all of the security. And it was also very hard to see him because of that security. Mm -hmm. So many court officers, about 20. And then, of course, he had Secret Service in there as well. So anytime you were to shift around in your seat to try and catch a glimpse, a court officer would tell you to not to move around too much. I mean, no electronics, no moving around. It was really, they were running a tight ship, and, you know, rightfully so, and everything did run smoothly. So it was it was an interesting day in court, one I won't, you know, soon forget. You know, you think about Trump for the last 40-some-odd years or more here in the city, this mm -hmm. showman, this character who's always in control of every moment, right? He's, he's the center of attention. He's running things. And today, not at all. He exactly. was just in there like any other defendant, except, you know, all the security, et cetera. What, what was that like to see that? You know, and it was also interesting because we had cameras in the uh, court hallway, and we thought he might say something. Someone was shouting out questions. He looked at the camera, looked away, and kept walking. So I don't know if this also, you know, maybe took him aback, because it is different being in that courthouse. I mean, you know, innocent until proven guilty. Everyone is treated the same. No one is above the law. And I think he probably felt that when he was in there. Because, again, to see all these court officers and, and the judges up there, I mean, it's, it's just a really serious, serious thing. And I think he definitely felt that. And it was different to see him acting very subdued like that. And it's not an environment he's been in before. I mean, the first time right. in a courthouse, it's, it's an uncomfortable feeling, even when you show up for jury duty. I mean, it's just exactly. it's an intimidating place to be. I'm curious, once inside and when the proceedings started, mm -hmm. was, he, was he referred to, like, as the former president? Was he referred to as just Donald Day, Donald Donald J. Trump. I, you know, how how was he being referred to within the proceedings? Sure. Well, the indictment, I believe, you know, says you know Donald J. Mm -hmm. Trump. Um, I'm trying to remember. That's a good question. I believe he was referred to probably as the defendant right. mm. because that's you know what you're referred to in that courtroom. I don't recall. Of course, there were references uh, to the fact that he was running for re-election because there were some concerns with different things. Um, so he was referred to in all different manners. But I'm pretty sure the judge definitely referred to him as the defendant. Just just like he would any anyone else in that courtroom. And for those who've never been to the Manhattan Criminal mm -hmm. Courthouse, it's not exactly a majestic, no. soaring building with high seats. <laughs> this is not out of no. Architectural Digest. It's a pretty drab, dingy, yes. uh, kind of dank. Right, right. The federal place. courthouses are off, often ornate and, and quite beautiful, and then you go to a Manhattan Criminal Court and, and right. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's rather dull inside. Uh, you know, in terms of security, normally we go through one screening procedure when you first walk into the courthouse. We had to go through through two. Uh, second one on the 15th floor, they had, they were going through our bags, they had the canine unit there sniffing around, and uh, so that was also interesting to see. You know, the 15th floor, also the bathrooms were closed. I know a few reporters That's who had been problem. waiting online were open to use the restrooms, those were closed. Not good. So a uh, very, very different day, for sure. Well, Alice, nice work, great experiences in there. Thanks for sharing. Yes, yes, and team, great teamwork getting us a spot in that courtroom. Truly. It yes. did take a team, didn't it, Alice? <laughs> yes. Thank you.